We in Grandmaster Flash in the Furious Five. We came here to Canada Woo! all the way live. Gonna rock in the spot, gonna do it right. And be in the place in the house tonight. So when you come inside and when you walk in, the dog gonna make you scream when you get on the floor. Grandmaster Flash in the five MCs are guaranteed to rock you to your knees. In 1982, two forms of folk art surfaced in the ghettos of New York, breaking and rapping. Breaking, done to the beat of funky music, involved stylized acrobatic dancing. The funky beat also proved great for another style of fancy footwork, sophisticated double dutch jump rope. It was undoubtedly the phenomenon of rapping that gave rise to this unique brand of dancing. All rap really is, is chanting lyrics to a simple funky beat. The music is mixed by DJs using two or more turntables. The chief guru of the whole rapping scene is Grandmaster Flash. Last summer, he and his group, The Furious Five, came out with a 12-inch single called The Message. And in a flash, Flash and his boys became legendary figures, urban folk heroes whose message about a life of desperation in the ghetto rang out across the whole of North America and Europe. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five came to Toronto on Friday for a performance at the concert hall. a seedy, rundown part of New York where Grandmaster Flash grew up and still continues to live, despite the fact that he could well afford to live elsewhere now. I have a choice whether or not I want to stay in the Bronx or not, but I want to stay there because this is where I come from. I feel comfortable there, and um, I get a lot of my ideas in the, what it is, is the, in the environment itself. You know, that's, that's where I get a lot of my material from. And what it is is with a lot of people, a lot of artists, they get a little money, they get a little fame, and they leave, they lose grip they don't even to reality. Think about coming back. That's, they don't. That's the main thing. They don't think about they don't coming think back. About it. And you never foresee the day when you might want to split there. You know what it is? I might foresee the day where I might want to split, but I will always have a place there. That's I might have a home in a better, uh, maybe a better part, a better area, but I'm going to always have an apartment or whatever the case may be. I'm going to always be in that area. How are you, I love it. How are you considered in the neighborhood now? I mean, people that you really grew up with that have known you for all these years and all of a sudden they see these things happening to you. You know, you're going on tours, you're selling records. Yeah, uh, and the majority of our friends are, you know, real proud of us. You yeah. know, being that, you know, we came out of the neighborhood, you know. Did something. Yeah, really yeah. Trying, trying to make something out of ourselves, you know. But we've always been more or less appreciated even before, you know, getting into records because we was doing this for a long time. You used to hang years. out at some pretty mean parties. We used to plan yeah, pretty mean parties. Yeah. Oh, really? Our own party. mm. What went but on at was... these parties? Oh, you know, why just... wasn't I invited? Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, from now on. Give me your phone <laughs> number. Oh. Yeah, that was just regular parties, though, you yeah. know, but they just turned into, you know, wild parties. Yeah. Like what? What do you mean? What was the scene there? Describe what, it, what you know, would happen. No, real, like a, a rough, you know, people used to get robbed in the party sometimes. Oh, okay. shoot this. What it was is like, okay, you can separate the two audiences. Yeah, they liable to happen. You can separate two audiences, like disco audience, mm -hmm. where it's 21 and over, you gotta wear a suit jacket and this, and you gotta dress a certain way. And then there was the other, the other audience. And really, they had nowhere to go. Not saying that we planned it that way, but this is where they came mm -hmm. to us. And those was the guys that, you know, they weren't totally dressed conscious. And, um, were totally conscious conscious. And no, they, they were carried just, certain you know, items just, that you know, maybe wouldn't be carried in a discotheque. You know, stuff like that. Because, like, how, how we more or less did when we, when we gave parties, we more or less, mostly we got, like, the, the as far as people would, you know, uh, class other people, we got, like, more or less what would be called the lowest standard of the people. We got, you know, all the people that did the hanging out, you know, and the hustling and all that. We always appealed to, you know, those type of people. And we gonna end the show. Everybody do what we do when we together. Everybody go down one time. Scoop a little down. Everybody put your hands in the air. Put it up, put it up. All together now, we're going to end it. Everybody put it down. All together now, we're going to end it. Everybody put it down. All together now, we're going to end it. Everybody put it down. All together now, we're going to end it. Everybody put it down. All together now
Oh, this jam is scorpio!